More than 80 years after her death, New Zealand's most prominent women's right fighter is once again making headlines at Parliament. Women's Refuge made a two-metre glass sculpture of Kate Shepherd to highlight domestic violence ahead of a march today and wanted to display it at Parliament. But the Speaker has rejected the statue despite initially agreeing to display it for three months. Now march organiser Kerry Hannafin joins me now from Wellington. Good morning to you Kerry, thanks for coming on the programme. Talk, Good us, morning. Through, talk us through this from the start. So was the statue made... With, with the intention of it going into Parliament or was that agreement made later on? Um, that was our wish and certainly agreement came later on but yeah we came up um, we were um, came up with the idea with Saatchi's and Saatchi's in July and we've been working on her since July um, so it's been a long time in the making. And it's a fantastic looking statue as well tell us about uh, what's behind it because there are a lot of messages inscribed on the individual pieces of perspex aren't there? Yeah, that's right. We asked New Zealanders to, um, to sign their names and to write a message around their views on domestic violence and we've got thousands of people who have done that. And Propeller Studios here in Miramar and Wellington have made her out of um, six millimetre thin um, acrylic and she's kind of built up into a statue of Kate using the signatures and messages of New Zealanders. It's beautiful. And Kerry, was an agreement made with Parliament that it would sit on their grounds for three months? Yeah, that's right. On Wednesday we were in here um, looking at the place where they had selected for her to go and then on Friday we got a letter saying that um, they had made a U-turn and that she was no longer welcome. We've got an excerpt from that letter here that came from the Speaker. It's, he says, after careful consideration I've declined the request for the statue to be placed on display uh, or housed at Parliament. This is a busy time at Parliament and space constraints, future requirements and the use of space in public and functional areas cannot be overlooked. Now is this because, Kerry, you went back and suggested that the place where they wanted it to be wasn't the best place. You wanted it to go somewhere else, perhaps where there's more foot traffic, for example. That's right. The place that they had um, selected for her was very quiet. And because, actually, over the next three months, Parliament's going to be very quiet because the government, new government will be forming. It's coming up to Christmas. We thought that where she was would just be a wasted opportunity. So we asked whether they'd consider, very politely consider, whether they'd take her downstairs, where they'd see some, where, where she'd be looked at by the foot traffic. So, yeah, the letter, the excuses in the letter, we think, are probably just excuses. And we're very um, disappointed and sad to think that the reason that um, the Speaker has changed his mind is because we asked for her to be... Um, to be moved. Do you actually think that's what it is rather than the, the reasons that they've listed here, the busy time, the space constraints, etc? Yeah, I do, I'm afraid, I do. Would you still want it to go back in, on Parliament grounds if they agreed that it would have to be in the original space that they had assigned? <laughs> That's a good question. We would have liked to be, have been given that opportunity before they actually changed their mind completely. Um, I, the great news is that um, our friends from Propeller Studios are going to build here on the steps today. So she'll be here and, you know, maybe on the steps, but unfortunately not inside. Um, I guess we haven't um, been offered to have her back, so um, I don't know whether we'd... Um, whether we would go back now that we've been, we feel so let down and so disappointed, but I guess it would make that decision if um, the offer was made to us. Okay, because she will be taken to the steps there, as you say, later today, and that's as a part of a march that Women's Refuge have organised. Tell us about that. You're expecting hundreds, aren't you? Yeah, well, Women's Refuge have been joined by our colleagues across the um, family violence sector um, to organise a march around um, the epidemic levels of sexual and domestic violence in New Zealand. And, why we've done that is because year on year um, we've seen a rise in domestic violence and in sexual violence and we wanted to make this an issue that New Zealand has thought about um, coming into the, uh, the election. So that's why we've chosen this week and Kate was just sort of part of that, a, a really kind of special gift to Parliament, this beautiful piece of art that we could share with all New Zealanders. So the march is still on, we're very proud of it, we're hoping that lots of people join us um, to raise awareness and to seek leadership from the government around this terrible issue that, that, we, that all New Zealanders you know, have to deal with. It costs us over $5 billion a year to respond to domestic violence in New Zealand. And Kerry, what will, happen to, uh, what will happen to Kate now? Oh well, it's going to take four hours to make her because she's so big and enormous and then we have to take her down sadly and bring her back to our office. So yeah, we're really sad. Yeah, it's well, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that, and um, if that is an, an actual, if that, what, uh, how it, exactly it played out, um, which we might find out later in the program. But Kerry, thanks so much for joining us, and best of luck for, for the march as well. Thanks for your time. Thanks very much.